time. What's up guys? So for those of you who are new to the channel, I am using headphones because I don't have an external mic yet, but I am in the process of getting it. So, today's video will be a continuation from the last install. Um, if you guys can remember, I did the install for the steering and I also worked on the airbags. So, in the last video I had to go to PG Glass to get some seeker to go between the plate and the bag. And that is done now. So today's video will consist of actually putting the fittings back in the bag and who knows, might even do a test. So the seeker on the bag is actually done. Unfortunately I couldn't control where the seeker goes so a little bit of it got into the fitting over there. Um, so the first part will be actually cutting the seeker out the way before I can get my fittings in. Don't you think that it's boring how people talk? Making smart with the words again. Well, I'm bored. Because I'm doing this for the thrill of it, killing it. What I've done for the first part is basically clean out any places. Um, with the bag fittings where the seeker wasn't supposed to go in I've cleaned that out now and it's time to start putting the fittings and the screws in the fitting that's going in is a 10 more PU elbow so now both bags are ready to go back on the struts what I've done is I've re-tapped all the threads just to make sure that there's no leaks and that the uh, bolts that are going in there don't slip out um, also same thing for the fittings that's the main thing is to ensure that there are no leaks with anything like this. With the seeker being in the crevices of the where the fittings are, it actually stopped the fittings from going in. So hopefully it's not in the way anymore. So I've actually taken all of the bolts out, I've fitted them with Loctite as well as thread, uh, thread tape. So the next thing to do is to put this back on the shock, put it back in the car and test it out, check if there's any leaks. struts built at the moment this is a very bulky setup and it is quite heavy this is gonna have to do for now because the whole project is still very experimental uh, there are no guidelines for air suspension for a Mach 3 Escort so all of it is guessing and calculating at the moment so at the end of the day I just recalculate not for the best the only problem with a setup like this is that it's all trial and error and there are no guidelines to follow because it hasn't been done. Um, everything has been fabricated at home. There has been some CNC work for some spacing, but that's about it. Other than that, everything's done right here. The one strut's built. So I'll put the other one together. That's just to make sure that I don't lose anything and might do a test. So it's that time of the video. Time to get these struts in. Wish me luck. And talk it up like yeah. yeah. And talk it up like yeah. yeah. And talk it up like yeah. yeah. Let's go down to the tennis court and talk it up like yeah. yeah. And talk it up like yeah. yeah. And talk it up like yeah. yeah. Let's go down to the tennis court and talk it up like yeah. yeah. And the one side is in. This is the driver side strut. Uh, 
I will try to let the car down and try it out. So everything seems to be fitting nicely. Uh, the bag will push up a bit once I let the car down onto the wheels. It'll just be a bit difficult to air the car up from the inside because of the system that I have. Because I have to watch everything and make sure everything's safe. But I'll try my best. So I've put a spacer underneath the wheel and I've let the car down to a height that I feel comfortable with and that's safe for the bag at the moment. Uh, later I will be shifting the bottom of the bag further down that will um, increase my bag travel and also allow the car to go lower, much lower. That's the wheel space at the moment and that will all be eliminated later. So the reason why I'm not slamming the car all the way to the ground at the moment is to actually play it safe and to make sure that the bag sits nicely, not rubbing against anything and I will slam it to the ground later on. But for right now, it's just testing to make sure everything works, well, to see if everything works. I'm at an all time. Thanks, popped up. It's time to see if the system works in front. Let's test it out. earlier and I found that there are a few minor leaks in the front uh, I will get it sorted out at a later stage so this is my air suspension console the four gauges of here shows tank pressure front left front right rear left rear right There are unfortunately leaks in the front. Just to get the focus. Um, the bag on the right is dropping a bit faster than the one on the left. But I have already found the leaks on both bags, so it's a minor problem that I will get sorted as fast as possible. So that's it. As I have mentioned already, there is a minor leak, but this is also a minor problem. I have actually already found the leak in the system. Well, it's not in the system, it's on the bag itself. I'm happy to say that there are no leaks in the system. Airs up nicely, airs down nicely. There aren't any leaks anywhere else except for that one part in the bag. But like I said, I have already found it and it's a quick fix. So I'll get it sorted out as soon as possible. So. I'm just happy. I got the struts in today. I tested them out. Everything's working exactly the way I want it. So, it's nothing more for today. So, keep up to date with the latest progress. Stay tuned to the channel. Other than that, I'm out for now. <laughs> If I could take you up in boom, 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 boom,